If you're doing a coronary angioplasty for a young patient and you would like to avoid having a permanent metallic implant, but instead you end up having a bad dissection, so what should you do then? Should you rush to stenting or do we have other options that could help us manage the dissection without going for stenting? This is our patient, a 34 year old gentleman who presents with acute chest pain, a high risk acute coronary syndrome with transient anterior ST segment elevation. Taken emergently to the cath lab, we found a critical narrowing in the proximal LAD and another severe stenosis in the mid LAD involving the diagonal bifurcation. And our algorithm is the same. We try to modify the lesion with a properly sized non-compliant balloon, 3.5 for the proximal LAD, 3.0 for the mid LAD, and then we assess the result. Here, the proximal LAD was fine, but we had an ugly looking dissection in the mid LAD. So how should we handle this dissection? Should we leave it and just go ahead with the DCB or we should stent it immediately or perhaps a prolonged balloon inflation or there could be other options. In this patient, we chose to go for a scoring balloon. And the rationale here is that the scoring balloon not only efficiently modifies the atheroma, but it also creates a fenestration between the true lumen and the false lumen because of the scoring element it has on its surface. And this fenestration will decompress the false lumen, thereby preventing abrupt vessel occlusion and would largely resolve the dissection. And this is exactly what happened here. After we used our scoring balloon, we had a significant gain in the lumen and in addition the dissection has been turned from a vessel threatening dissection into a much more friendly dissection. Of course we had to wait for several minutes to make sure that there is no significant recoil and then we went ahead with our drug coated balloon strategy. We used a 3.5 DCB for the proximal LAD and a 3.0 DCB for the mid LAD and you see the final result there's no flow limiting dissections and there's no significant residual narrowing. So the points here to succeed in your DCB program, focus on proper lesion modification tools, keep scoring balloons in your shelf, and whenever you have an ugly looking dissection, make sure that the patient is properly anticoagulated, the ACT is in the therapeutic range, use a scoring or a cutting balloon to create a fenestration in the dissection flap. If you have neither a scoring or a cutting, think of having a prolonged balloon inflation can help seal the dissection, and of course keep stenting as your last option.